Did complex life on Earth start twice? A group of scientists think so. It's a controversial claim, but one that could rewrite the textbooks and teach us a lot about the evolution of life on our planet and possibly elsewhere. So naturally, I fell a look. Before we get to the science news, I have a recommendation for how to recall science news and any other information from today's sponsor, Recall. Recall is an app that helps you store and organize everything you've read, watched or written. It creates an AI-powered knowledge base that's automatically organized and that you can chat with. The browser extension enables one-click saving, generates summaries and lets you chat with all your content, PDFs, podcasts and even TikToks on mobile. And they've just launched a massive update, a Notion-style editor, so you can take rich notes too. Add equations, tables or to-do lists, whatever your heart desires. Recourse AI works on your notes too. Chat with them, quiz yourself and connect ideas. It's an important difference. Other AIs start from scratch. Recall knows your trusted sources and personal notes. Ask, make me a sleep routine based on expert advice from Matthew Walker and my daily sleep journals and you'll get a tailored output, not generic tips. So if you want to remember everything you've ever studied, read or thought, give it a try at getrecall.ai. If you use my code Zabina25, you'll get 25% off until January 1st. Now back to the science news. The standard textbook story goes like this. The first microorganisms appeared about three and a half billion years ago. But then for the next two billion years, basically nothing happened. The planet was populated by small cells without nuclei who were waiting for their chance. It wasn't until about 600 million years ago that cells began to organize and give rise to increasingly larger organisms with increasing complexity. Fast forward 600 million years and here we are on YouTube the logical endpoint of intelligent life. But maybe those two billion years weren't quite as boring as we thought. There's a group of researchers in France which has argued for more than a decade that actually life made a much earlier attempt at complexity, but that didn't work out for some reason. They've now presented new evidence for this claim that are fossils which date back to more than two billion years ago that, they say, are evidence of organisms at least a centimeter in size. If they are right, this would be big news. Also depressing. I mean, imagine how far along we'd be if we'd had a billion years more time to understand the YouTube algorithm. So this new evidence comes from black shales that they found in Gabon. These rocks have been dated to about 2.1 billion years ago, so that's long, long before we thought complex life existed. In these rocks, they found shapes of about a centimeter in size that are made of pyrite with arsenic inside. Now, pyrite is a compound made of sulfur and iron that's produced when microbes break down organic matter, but it can also occur naturally, so that doesn't tell us much. Their smoking gun evidence is the arsenic. Because they say arsenic would have been toxic to these early forms of life. However, they'd have learned to isolate it. So when the organism died and was broken down by smaller organisms, there'd be concentrated blobs of arsenic left where it had isolated the toxin. And this is exactly what they see. It's not just that. They say that this finding is extra hard to explain by non-living processes because the surrounding rocks are different in composition. It looks like something dragged itself there and then died and left behind this trace. Yes, it's something with life and something with arsenic, but no, it's not the story with arsenic life. This organism, if it existed, didn't live on arsenic. Rather, it was trying to limit the damage from it. The new story here is that if this was an organism, it was dramatically larger than anything that we thought existed at the time, and then it 
went extinct. I have to warn you, though, that most geologists are not convinced by that evidence, at least not yet. They say there could be chemical mechanisms to grow structures like this without any living being in the process. But they don't actually know how this would work. Others say that these might be deposits from fluids. Others say that, yes, maybe it was actually organic, but it just happened to be a big bunch of single-cell organisms sitting in one place called a microbial mat. These survive until today, but now we call them carpets. So, you know, this is a super controversial claim. But it doesn't look like anyone has a better explanation. What would it mean if these guys were correct and complex life arose so much earlier? It'd mean that the emergence of life is both easier and more difficult than we thought. It can happen faster, yet it's also more fragile. I find this a fascinating development, not just because it tells us something about our own origins, but because it can tell us something about the likelihood of life out there on other planets. Maybe we're not as rare and unique as we like to think, but rather we're the latecomer and all the other civilizations are a billion years ahead of us. Is it a surprise then that we can't find any evidence of extraterrestrial life? To them, we might be about as interesting as microbial mats are to us. Then again, we value some of our microbes, don't we? I mean, where would we be without sourdough and cheese? So maybe there's hope for us. There is also a deeper lesson in this. The right way to deal with toxicity is to isolate the compounds and let them fossilize. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.